When I started my business years ago, the motto was friends help each other. And the reason that I picked that motto is because I knew how important it was to have empowered, empowering connections in life. But I was just scratching the surface back then. Little did I know what connections were actually going to offer. Because at the time, I was kind of connected to this whole idea of you are the average of the five people that you spend the most time with. So I thought, you know, hanging around with rich people, I might kind of get some financial abundance, hang out with um, healthy, fit people. I might want to lose weight and get fit and healthy and whatnot. You know, there is actually scientific evidence to say that that is actually accurate as well, which is very, very interesting. But I realized that was that was like level one of what connections can actually do to do for you. And I'm going to be talking about the importance of connection in a future video. But this is actually a word of caution video because I... In order to do this, I set up a brand new YouTube channel for Don't Fret, right? So it had a clean news feed at the time. And I've subscribed to like 20 channels of people that I admire who talk about different aspects of mental health. Some, some are uh, male focused, some are not male focused, um, some are, are financially based, some might be health based, so on and so forth. But it's people that I admire. And... Because I've used search terms like masculinity, femininity, um, empowerment, emotional control, mental health, these various different things, the YouTube algorithm has started to catch up. It started to kind of give me a framework. And because it knows that I am a white male of 36 years of age, it started to feed me content saying, oh, people like you have also watched these and it's horrifying. It is actually horrifying. I am now constantly being fed, even though I didn't actually ask for any of this content, I am actively being fed content that is anti-feminist, women-hating. It's, uh, I found out about this red pill community, which is just this community that bashes on women and how easy they've got it. Incel communities, the invol involuntary celibates that blame women for everything. It's genuinely terrifying. It's, it's just kind of got me with this whole people who are like you, people who fit your demographic are also watching all of these things. I didn't ask for that. It's what's being fed. And... If I'm being fed that and I haven't searched it, imagine how many men that fit my demographic are also watching this toxic bile. It, it genuinely terrifies me. It genuinely terrifies me. I'm very, very fortunate in the fact that I've developed a bit of a, a consciousness with regards to the connections that I have. And here's my piece of advice. Piece of advice number one, diversify your connections. One of the most powerful tools that you can ever have is having empathy and compassion for someone else's story that is different to, to your own. Someone that has a different life experience. I'm very, very fortunate now that I have uh, friends that are spread across a diverse group of gender, sexuality, and race. And let me tell you, particularly for me, understanding the stories of someone who might be gay or trans has been liberating for me. It's been eye-opening. And what that's meant is I get a full, broad picture of other people's life experience. So when I'm fed content that is designed to direct my attention towards blaming another group of people... I actually know that group of people. I know what they're going through. And I know what this content is saying about them is complete and utter garbage. Right? So that is tip number one. Diversify your group of connections. Get the full picture and you'll become much less manipulatable in this arena. Tip number two is... Watch out for the blame content. 
See, when people are in pain, they are at their most manipulatable. In fact, ad companies have been doing this for years, right? Brands have been doing this for years. They take people's insecurities. They say, hey, I realize you're insecure about that particular blemish on your face. Here's some makeup to cover it up. Hey, so I realize that you're a little bit insecure about your status in life. So if you buy this suit or this aftershave or this car or this watch, you will look like you have status and you will get everything that your wildest dreams could offer you. So ad companies have been man manipulating our insecurities for years, but now content algorithms on YouTube and other social medias are incredibly dangerous because in order to kind of gather fans or groups or followers, a content provider could say, I realize you're in pain. I was in pain too. And you know what? It's not your fault. It's their fault, right? And this could be another group, another culture, another demographic, another gender, another race, right? But what that's doing is that that's directing your attention towards instead of blaming yourself or having this, those internal things, you're blaming someone else. And all that does, that doesn't heal, that doesn't cure, that doesn't help. What it does is it puts an anger mask over your pain and redirects it elsewhere. It makes you very controllable and it, it, it changes your pain towards anger, aggression, potentially even violence towards another group. So those are my two tips. Number one, if the content is associated with blame, don't listen. You're better off elsewhere. Uh, number two, diversify your connections group so you get a full, broad picture of other people's stories. And there is liberation. There is emotional liberation in that, I can tell you. So that is my uh, video for today. Have a good one. See you tomorrow. Bye!